Hey there folks, we are taking a look at a brand new product today, uh, at least new to me. I'm not quite sure how long this has been out on the market, but I recently picked it up at San Diego Comic-Con from the Disney Plus booth. And lo and behold, I come to find out after waiting three to four hours across two days that this is the same one available from the Toink website, T-O-Y-N-K. They also had a few booths at San Diego Comic-Con, but this was not available at the show. And I thought, this was either something different, a newer model, new version, maybe an exclusive, even though it wasn't listed as an exclusive. I, I don't know, I just uh, flubbed by me. I felt like a noob <laughs> picking this up. I honestly thought it was something a little bit different, but this is the Medal of Yavin from Star Wars A New Hope. Like I mentioned, you can pick it up right from Toink. You don't have to wait for a convention or a Disney Plus booth to pop up anywhere. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So as you see, there is the box with the Star Wars logo. Nothing else, just the licensing material. I want to say this was $49.99, maybe $39.99. I'm not entirely sure. It does come with a certificate of authenticity. It's interesting they listed it as a necklace. I mean, if you want to get technical, I don't really think this was a necklace, but anyway, it does pinpoint that is the Medal of Bravery awarded to Luke Skywalker and Han Solo by Princess Leia in A New Hope. I'm not sure if there were any differences between the two necklaces, but either way, they are pretty similar. These rips were from me when I was trying to open it up. The packaging is a little bit interesting how they have it in here. It's like glued on one side or maybe it was glued on all sides and just had to take it out. It is in this foam insert so it is well protected and you'll see the struggle right now getting this out as well. If I can lift it up. I don't know why they have to make this so difficult. Bear with me. All right, there we have it after struggling. This is all that's in the box and it's really just snug in there. I definitely think they could have done a better job of putting this in there to take it out. But let's go ahead and pull that off to the side. And here is the metal and it is real metal. You can hear on the countertop. I know there was one that's more expensive that's like real gold. This one just might be gold plated, but yeah, it still looks great. I do notice there's quite a few smudges and blemishes throughout it, especially on the back with all these streaks. Nothing too bad. It, I feel like it kind of gives it a more authentic vibe to it or retro, not retro, but like a rustic vibe, I should say, because, you know, in the world of Star Wars, especially being given out at a rebel base and rebel award ceremony, it's not going to be perfect. This kind of gives it a more realistic flair to it. And the design is beautiful. Again, has a nice gloss to it. It is smooth. There really aren't any textures, except here you see all the molding and the design. And it has a good weight to it. So you'll definitely feel it. And on the back has the Star Wars logo with the Lucasfilm license. I do kind of wish this wasn't on there, but they kind of have to do that. And I don't know if the actual prop is flat in the back, but this one is just flat. There's no design to it. But of course, we never do see the back of it. And the cuts are okay, nothing too sharp, but again, not too bad. You can see some issues here and there. Some paint chips on the top, maybe. So I guess, yeah, it's not as perfect or not as well made as I was thinking until now I'm really looking at it in the review and under the light. So I guess we can just say Luke had this for some time or Han even had it for some time and he was wearing it on some missions and got it banged up. So you can kind of add that. And the cloth or the necklace part, it's a little bit lighter green. I want to say there might have been another version of this where the color was completely off and I didn't pick it up. It's a little bit hard to tell in the footage, especially between all the different remakes and not remakes but the uh, enhancements and renditions we've had over the years this one kind of gives a darker green almost brownish color to it but i have seen images where it is more green like this so it might be the actual prop is green and just on screen it came out more brown i haven't been able to find like a a, a picture of the actual prop. Maybe by the time I do this review, I'll insert an image of it if I do find it. But that was something that did help hold me back in the past from picking this up. I can't remember specifically from Toink or another supplier or company, but now that I've done some more research and looked at different renditions of the film, it it is pretty much accurate. And I can always make this darker by dyeing it or adding some kind of weathering to it. But yeah, 
there you have it folks just a quick look at the medal of yavin if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below thank you all for watching and stay tuned for future videos